How are you? I'm Tejo Kote. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Automatic. Automatic is a smartphone application and a tiny accessory which connects to pretty much any car on the road to make it a smart connected car. It does four things. It provides people insight and feedback about how they are actually using their car and how much money they are spending doing it. And it always knows where your car is parked. And because it's talking to the computer of your car, it knows when something goes wrong with it and if that check engine light comes on it can tell you what's actually wrong and finally it can detect a crash if you ever get into one and automatically call for emergency assistance so all of that together we think of it as a smart driving assistant so this is the automatic link and it connects to a port that pretty much any car sold since 1996 actually every car sold since 1996 has and it talks to your smartphone. There is an automatic app that runs on the smartphone. And that's how your smartphone talks to your car and it's connected to the internet. This company came out of uh, research that my co-founder Jerry, who's just outside, and I were conducting at uh, UC Berkeley. And that research was at the crossroads of transportation, engineering, and computer science. And we were trying to answer questions like, how do people use cars and you know why do they make choices around the use of cars and how do they do it and we realized that you know people spend a lot of money on cars especially in america the average family spends about eight thousand dollars a year just on their car and of those eight thousand dollars about three thousand dollars are spent on gas right and so these are large amounts of money but the very interesting thing is that people have no idea how it's spent right and they have no idea that the small changes in driving style can lead to very big savings in money and fuel efficiency can improve over time. And so there is a lot of research and data already out there which says that, you know, if you make small changes like go 70 on the highway instead of 80, you know, if you do that consistently, your fuel efficiency goes up by 15%, which when you're spending $3,000 a year becomes a big amount over time, right? So we start thinking about how we can, you know, since we can talk to the computer of your car and that's the other interesting thing is that your car is the computer it's, sure. the most, it's the most expensive computer people own and it's that's been the case for a long time now but people don't have access to it at all it's a black box and they don't know actually what's happening and so we put like two and two together where one this thing is a computer there's lots of valuable information in it people don't know anything about what's happening in that car how do we solve that problem and that's how we started going down that path and eventually we realized that Hey, if you create something which talks to your car and enables you to interface with your car through your smartphone, there is so much more that you can do once you have all of that information and you can build a product that is really useful and improves the ownership experience for people. And that's how automatic So when we, once we decided to create the company when we were in Berkeley, we graduated soon after. And in May of 2011, we went to Y Combinator. Right? And uh, we were a part of that summer batch. And after Y Combinator, we raised money and our investors include Andreessen Horowitz and Founders Fund and a number of angels. So we are pretty comfortable on that front. So once we had uh, the funding, we have been working on this product for more than a year now. And it's been you know, an exciting journey and it involves, if you think about it, a lot of moving parts and you need skills in hardware design and embedded software. and you know, mobile application development and large-scale server-side systems. And so, you know, we are very lucky to have a group of talented people who believe in what we're working on. And so, it, that's what we've been doing for the last year. How many people? So, it's a team of about eight full-time people. But we have about, I think, six part-time people also now. And it's rapidly growing. So, we're here at your office in San Francisco. So, why San Francisco and why not maybe uh, Berkeley, the East Bay or South Bay? So, partly because it's the preference of the team as a whole. And I think San Francisco is the best place for products which have one foot each in the world of engineering and really good design and user experience. And I think that this is a place where that kind of talent naturally gravitates towards. And so, we just like San Francisco. Thank you.